Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Karen Go Burr. We've got a tantalizing lineup today, so hold on to your seats. Our first act features a jaw-dropping showdown and Karen spits on a black man and finds out. But wait, there's more. A psycho Karen ramps up on a disabled man, Karen's dog bites a 60-year-old woman, and Chinese Karen's parking lot drama. We've got a drama-filled spectacle just for you. Our first clip is like watching a Karen's rage turn into a TikTok dance challenge. This one's all about how to go from furious to flustered in seconds flat. Hold on to your donuts, folks, because the assistant manager is about to drop a verbal nuke. What are you going to do? Oh, the suspense! You're gonna slam a window in my face? That's very rude. Sorry, I'm glad you backed up. I'm glad you backed up. You're smart. Have I got your one twelve, sir? I'm waiting for my stuff. Oh, okay. If I'd irked the restaurant staff this much, I'd expect a side of humble pie with my coffee, and maybe even a sprinkling of special sauce. Our second clip? Well, it's a masterclass on why you should never mess with people who've already got their hands full. Common sense, anyone? Here's this woman here blocking my car in while I'm legally parked in the handicapped space. Here's, a, here's her plate number. Here's the woman who is assisting her in holding me against my will. Excuse me. Get out of here. Don't touch me. I didn't touch you. Don't, don't touch me. You don't have any permission to. Dude, lady, you're, you're, you're in public. Get There's in no the expectation way. of privacy in public. Just go away. Just go away. You could have got. You could have walked away. away. Shut your you could have walked silly away. Silly you understand that I have a handicap placard. It you're blocking me up. in. It was not up. It I was, was on my phone doing it something. It was not up. I was on my it phone. It was not up. It's up now, it's isn't it? Excuse you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch, me. Don't touch my stuff. Car. I'm not doing jack sh <gasps> Call the police. I'm staying awake. Okay. Sue, I cannot take care of you, okay? Excuse me. Shut up. I would get that out of my face, ma'am. But hey, Karen here's a revelation. People can be superhero rock stars with multiple disabilities. Meet your new inspiration. The only one that's being a retard are the people that are blocking me in and not allowing me to leave, which is illegal, ma'am. Totally, 100% illegal. I was on my phone. Do you got a problem with me using my phone? First of all, you don't have any. You have no. You have no idea what my 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 disability is. So mind your business. How about that? You're not supposed to have more than one. Doesn't matter. What's mine? And you're 100% wrong for blocking me in. Women? Really, Get really you lady? You're the one that came out after the fact. So why don't you mind your business? Have a nice day. Enjoy the day, ma'am. Have fun. Oh, yeah, okay, stupid. Okay, stupid. Hats off to this guy for taking Karen's insults and turning them into a superhero origin story. Next up, we've got a canine caper where Karen's dog takes a bite out of a 60-year-old woman. But Karen's excuses? Well, they're leakier than a rusty faucet. I need to see the bite. I need to see the proof. I'm looking. I have information here. Show my bite. I know. Show me. Show me the bite. I need to see it. Come on. Do the gun. Do the gun. I need to see the bite. No. You need to show me the I need to see that. Um, if my dog bit you, then show me the f I have a record. I have a record. I have a record. I have a record. She's saying that my dog bit her, but I just want to see it. Yes! Where's the guy with the white cane in this circus? He's like the unexpected guest star in this wild Karen drama. I have the bite. I have the biting record. Ghetto? I have the bite. Ghetto? I have the bite. I'm North. Okay, we're going to get out of my face, please. Can you please get out of my face? Can you step back, please? Yes, yes, I don't know. Here's hoping the old lady triumphs and Karen gets a taste of doggy justice. Now that's a plot twist we'd pay big bucks to see. 
Hold on to your capes, folks, because it's Batman vs. Karen in this unforgettable showdown. They're debating the merits of colorful language around kiddos. Spider-Man steps in to provide some much-needed emotional support. Hey, even superheroes need a shoulder to cry on from time to time. You got nothing on me. You got nothing on Let's cut them some slack. Heroes got a vent too, especially when they're pushed to their limits. In this episode, Crazy Karen goes full detective mode, accusing a woman of pool tube theft and then kicking the whole family out of the pool. Oh no, we're packing it up. What, you want me to run out the door? It's still not, not, it's not 9 o'clock. The pool hours are 9 o'clock, so I have the right to be here. I reported that I had an issue with you. What's the issue? You guys took that tube from my granddaughter. This is our tube. tube. Not. Which That's where? Not. It's right there. It's not. Yeah, but my granddaughter was knocked to the ground. Just please go. What are you talking please about? Go. You're not gonna tell me what to do. I That's not what you're go. gonna do. Right now. You're being nasty for no reason. I am not being nothing. This is my tube, and you start getting upset and started taking pictures go. of me. I don't understand what's the problem here. You, and there's you cameras right there too, so the I will be recording you, and I will be uploading that in the. Delusional Karen can't seem to admit when she's wrong, even with video evidence in her face. Oh my gosh, you're you getting upset for nothing. Please record me and make sure you show it to Holly in the office. I will. Because she'll tell you you are wrong. I will. Please go Those now. You're yelling. Please go now. That's I will. Oh we're walking. Right. Right. You want me to? You want me to run it's up there? Not racist. You're not supposed to have more than two guests. There's nothing racist about that. And you guys are still chilling there with a whole bunch of stuff. Right. I was very kind of polite. I simply grabbed my tube and you started taking pictures of me. There's no need for that either. Okay, well, if Kayla has pictures of her kids in that tube, you're going to be penalized. Go ahead. We have, this, we have the same tube. It's not yours. We brought it from the beginning. And you know what? Matter of fact, I'll be telling them to watch the cameras too to see who's in right, okay? Okay, yep. It's a tough watch, but we're crossing our fingers that the video footage swoops in, clears the innocent lady's name, and delivers some sweet, sweet justice. This Chinese Karen is guarding her daughter's parking spot like it's the last piece of candy at Halloween. Here, another case, a woman is standing at the spot, trying to get the spot while we avoid first. All right, here, here, another one standing here, blocking the spot and not letting my car to park in. All stuck in here then. You, your car was in the back. Your car was in the back. All right, and your mom or whoever she is, just wave and tell you to come over while my car was here first, all right? Is she an NPC glitch or just a foreign tourist? Either way, she's the embodiment of a Karen, and it's glorious. You were in the middle? I w yeah, we saw a spot, but then we parked. Wait, I was in the okay, waiting. so your mom is parking or your car is parking? You tell me the answer. Oh, if she's parking... If she's parking, tell her to lay down on the spot. Who's parking? Are you parking or your car is parking? My car is parking. Your car is parking, but your car is all the way in the back. You just drove up because your mom waved to you. Huh? Yeah, but my car was in front of you, right? Yeah. So if you were reading, so the whole block is yours? No. Thank you. But that's why Thank I had you. someone come up. You so it doesn't same matter. Same. Car is here first. Okay, okay, so no one takes the spot if this is how it's going to No, be. I'm taking the spot because my call advice first. Surprisingly calm Karen interaction. Maybe she's reserving her energy for a future meltdown? Huh, we can only hope. This male Karen is ready to dial 911 over a food feud. The drama's like a page turner you just can't put down. Hey, you are not going outside. Going outside. Ooh. 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 
Caught in the crossfire is a poor lady trying her best to play peacemaker. Bless her heart for stepping into this battlefield. In this classic case of Karen Pocalypse, we hope everyone found some kind of resolution. Here's a Karen losing her cool over a parking spot and picking a fight with a woman who'd already said sorry. Not to mention the guy trying to keep the peace. This ain't got nothing to do with you. I don't give a f about none of that. That's what you need to understand. Why is Karen so ticked off, you ask? Well, she's got her own hilarious take on things, making it a real side splitter. We did it, we gotta get the out! I'm sick of this Mind your business! Mind your business! Back up, you walking up on us though! You walking up on us though! But you walking up on us though! You ain't got nothing else better you can be doing? I don't have time to do it. Nigga, people don't know what type of thing else. Baby, let you have it. I will flip out and whoop your ass. Huge kudos to the guy for surviving Karen Pocalypse. He deserves a karmic reward. Seriously, bravo. Now it's time for a good old fashioned neighborly spat. Buckle up because this one's got all the drama, intrigue, and tension of a Hollywood thriller. Illegal water supply. Off my property and don't touch my property. I'm not on your property. That is not your property, Matt. You need to stop using illegal water. I have a right to water my yard, and this is illegal. No, it's not. Vertigo yes, it is. Full amounts for water, and you, you water have way one more land than I do. You, I do no not. No way. No you way, have, Berta. You have one. Nine one one. Siri, call nine one one. Sure, the worst she can say is no, but that's a whole lot better than hearing "ew, what are you doing here?" It's a drama where nobody ever seems to win. The property line is on the north. I'm sorry, the south side of the road. You need to no. move yourself. I'll to show you property. where your property line is. It's right straight from that property stake right there, and it goes straight north. I have an easement to use this piece of land. Well, so do I. No, you have an easement to use no, this piece I have, of the road. I have an easement. Verda, go away, Verda. No, I can't even get one sprinkler to go around. You are a liar. It's, you have five look, acres and you I run a not. commercial horse operation. You are using more water than any family on the well. It's a neighborhood drama and it feels like the plot twists just keep coming. Who needs reality TV when you've got neighbors like this, am I right? We've got a bus riding woman having a full on meltdown because some students dared to play with the emergency windows. Who said that? Who said that? Don't mess with me, none of you, okay? Don't touch those windows no more. I'm not playing with y'all. Don't make me mad. Get off the bus. Get off. Get off. Go to the back. Get off. Walk home. Get off. Get off. All of you back there, Josh. You get off. You get off. You get off. You get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off and walk, she says. Well, isn't she a real problem solver? His house could be miles away. But act like kids, man. Despicable. I'm not going to this every day. I'm telling you right now, I'm not having it. I don't need to be mad driving a bus. And right now, I'm real mad. I can't believe it. 
We're hoping the passengers made it home in one piece with this driver behind the wheel. And maybe they'll arrive with a story to tell. This Karen is having a day from hell on a flight, and she even gets a poor guy booted off for what she perceives as disrespect. Because you having a bad day? I'm not having a bad day. I told you that these tips you have to give me. Yeah, I know, but you was but you was right here funding. Like, I was trying to give back. I was giving you a hard time. I was never giving you a hard no, time. No, but you raised your voice. You, you raised your voice to him. And you asked for your seat. You asked for your seat. Things and you play. Wait, this is really not even necessary. Wow. Like, I know, I know, I know. We supposed to be black people. I know. Why are you causing me problems? Why did you call me problems? No one causing problems. Like you having a bad day? You having a bad day? We came at you respectively, man. I could have got, I could have had an attitude with you and everything. Only disrespecting me. How disrespect you? Disrespecting me. Because you was in, because you was right in front of me from my seat. You in the air? I really don't. Why is Karen bringing race into this? It's almost like Italians arguing about pasta. It just doesn't add up. Is this correct? Very good. Thank That's you. all I needed. I know. I know. You guys don't even know. Okay. What's going on right here? Are you sure? Okay, please just get your seat real quick. I'll wait on the move. Excuse me. Are you sure? <laughs> we might need to start an in-flight therapy program to deal with high-altitude Karens. This British Karen decides to break a few traffic rules and then takes it out on a friendly cameraman. Stupid, isn't it? What you want? Look, I asked to move. You're going the wrong way, love. Breaking the law, attacking cameraman. Man, is she having a bad day or auditioning for a villain role? It's that way. You touch me in that. I'll get out of taking food pictures. No, your mouth is disgusting. You ought to be ashamed. Are you a mother and a grandmother? Because my grandchildren are listening to you. Listen, I asked her to move. No, you she didn't. There. You did you not. Sit there talking. You did not. Are you blind? No, Look, there here. is an arrow. Look. There's an arrow there. Because everybody comes here every but it day. Is an Don't you be liable for it? Well, I'm sorry about that. You booed me up there because you were talking. You're disgusting. God, you, you are. Do you eat with that mouth? You touch me one more time and you'll be in big trouble. Pictures. You're causing the problem. Why can't you just move really down that way? Off. If you work for the police, carry on. We can count the lot on you. Yeah, lovely. Easy there, Karen. You don't want to add wrecked car to your list of problems. At least this cameraman got a front row seat to her antics. Time to sip on some Starbucks drama with a side of entitlement. In this heated clip, a vlogger tries to provoke the store manager for content and ends up getting the boot. I can't speak with the manager. Yeah. Yeah, um, one of your employees, this guy over here, just came to me and told me that I couldn't be talking on my phone, which I'm not. Yeah, and I was recording something, so I have a recording of what he said. I do have a recording. Um, I'm not worried about the recording. I'm just asking you to tone it down and make sure it's a topic appropriate for this story. Okay, I'm not talking on my phone. I'm making a vlog okay, reporting my stalker and the, the attacks okay. I'm being subjected okay. to. This is a daily activity for someone. You're going to make sure it has to not bother other people while you're doing it. But That's they're talking point. and I can't. Anybody can talk. But me. The topic that you're talking about is not appropriate. Reporting my stalker. In our store for everybody to hear. Not appropriate. Cringe alert. The old man makes a reasonable argument, but this male Karen can't stop yapping about vlogs. It's a comedy of errors. Okay, I want a refund. I'm barely taking a sip of my coffee. You can have whatever refund you want. Okay, here. 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 Give me a refund. You taking one sip out of my coffee, you'll give me a damn refund. Look how much I've drank out of it. I sit down hey, and you come to harass me. When you use inappropriate language, you are not allowed to be in our store. You're a f moron. Give me my re hey. give me my refund. Hey, you're bothering me. I'm calling the police. You're bothering me. You're calling the police. Yeah, you're bothering me. I'm a customer. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> give me a refund. Oh, you hear this irate? You hear this irate? Hey, you, come pull me outside. 
Big Red. Hey, go ahead, old man. I will call the police now. He's on the phone with the police. You, your language is totally inappropriate. You may not come back here again. You clear? You clear? You gerbil. Note to aspiring vloggers: If you're going to film inside a store, please, for the love of sanity, don't go full Karen mode like this fella. The audience isn't here for it. In the next clip, watch this Karen throwing a tantrum at innocent kids while a kind-hearted soul captures her meltdown. I don't even know. I don't that. know. About? Are you kidding? Under her breath, she's like 11. I don't care how would how you old even know? Is. Okay, I don't care I either. Don't have to do with anything. So what are you doing? Go to your house. These are children. Why are you recording them? Apparently, they've been saying stuff under their breath. She don't know what I they've know. been saying. Yo, I'm going down to the police. Please station. do. And I'm gonna put down what you've been Please saying. Please do. They're children. What are you doing? You know that you've been saying you know. stuff. Yeah. And you apologized about it a couple days ago. I don't even know you. You didn't apologize about it a couple days ago? So what's no. you need to apologize? She don't want to. Harassing people is illegal. Have you and you You're harassing. Door. You just walked to my right property to record these little girls. They are little girls. It doesn't matter. Go to your, your own house, lady. This, this, is, this is the wrong property to come to. I can tell you right now, not a single one of these is even my children. Listen. Trespassing to record someone else's children? This Karen scaling Mount Absurdity with crampons and everything. Listen. But I can tell you, and I'm recording every bit of it, so we'll get I'm it all there. You too. Thank I you. Back up. So no, back out. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Get off of my property. Get away from my property. You please do. Yo, please, please do. Me. You're harassing no, no. children. You're speaking in my face. Because uh, you're, you're, you're over here, here on my property. Step it back again. Step it back again so I don't spit on you again. Grown Let's go. Keep it moving. A woman like that. No, no, you're approaching hey. children. Even kids aren't safe from Karen's over-the-top outbursts. We're hoping they had some adult supervision nearby. In this next clip, we're heading into an apartment complex where Karen's unleashing her fury over a five-year-old's toy orchestra. Because heaven forbid kids have fun. It's loud. And that is bothering you that bad, a toy? But it sounds loud. Well, he is playing with a toy. He is five years old. What is I it? am babysitting tonight. I will have him all night tonight. What is it, like I pounds paid, or something? I pay me to live here. So do I. I can do whatever I want to live here. Then I can just keep banging on the floor if that's the case. Uh, no you can't. Why? I pay rent? I am babysitting. He's five years old. He's playing with the toy. He's not doing nothing to bother you that bad. It's loud. I feel like I can't do nothing up there. It's I loud. already be crashed apartment downstairs, so I won't be more, hopefully I won't be living much longer upstairs. What kind of monster gets mad at a five-year-old kid for having fun? Is there a no-joy policy we don't know about? What are you supposed to do, just sit there all night? I mean, give him an iPad or something, that's what they kids Well, they I kids don't have nothing like that, he does a toy there he can play with. Well, it must be really heavy for it to make a loud noise. It's not that heavy to make a noise. I mean, it has to be because it sounds like a bomb going off. Oh, uh, no, it's not. It, it does make a noise, but it's not that bad. It's a toy. You, you, uh, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. Do you say so? Man, I will call Monday, talk to the main lady. I do babysit, and I have toys, and you have a problem with it. Yeah, I called her already, and... And she already know about it, because when I went to my lease, I already told her. Have fun. Kids need to be kids, running around and enjoying their toys. It's their golden ticket to fun before they hit the heavyweight punch of adulting. So just let them play. In this final chapter, watch as Karen learns a lesson about spitting on people. It's like a wild soap opera where everything goes out the window. This woman's life is like a dumpster fire, and we're not sure what's worse, the spitting, the punching, or the groping. It's like a dramatic trilogy all in one clip. Moral of the story, kids, don't spit on people or you'll get smacked in the face. There's just no other way to spin that tale.
And now, as we wrap things up, let's revisit some of the highlights from our roller coaster of Karen antics. From Psycho Karen ramps up on Disabled Man, to Karen spits on Black Man and finds out, we've witnessed real life karma in action. Remember, Karens, actions have consequences, and the consequences are in the clips. Until next time.